an educationist and African regional president of the Scholarship Aid Initiative, Dr. Adebayo Uluwato Singh, has asked the federal government to scrap the admission quota system as well as the unified tertiary matriculation examination. He spoke on Friday in Abeo Kuta, Ogon State, during the 2023 Stakeholders Forum organized by Scholarship and Initiative. The correspondent, John Felix, tells us more in this report. The forum with the team, the Quota Policy Nigerian Educational System, a determinant of undergraduate career choice in public and private universities. The African Regional Presence of the Scholarship Aid Initiative attributed Nigeria's admission crisis to the introduction of the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board as the only government agency to control admission into tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Oluwatosin submitted that the government policies have completely failed the citizens, most especially admission seekers. It is only in Nigeria, only in our country, that we are seeing using the world quota system. It's only in Nigeria that we are doing unified examination to secure admission to higher institution. It's very bad. Some of these are our leaders, they've, they've traveled outside the country, their children are outside there. If the same system they are using in Oxford University, in I mean, uh, Harvard University and some other university in abroad, would their children have been opportune to gain admission there? No. Why our own? Why this? That is why I said that quota policy, this policy, this idea of this quota system should be completely eradicated. The idea of UTME should be completely eradicated. Let institutions start admitting on their own. The university know what they want. No you jump determined for them. Look at what jump did this year. They said 140. Mark is a cut of man. And which university we accept that? Are you bringing the system, are you bringing the standard of education down? Or you are what? You are trying to work to raise it. So that is my, my, my stand. The guest lecturer, Aziz Olaniyo, also agreed that the federal government should review the quota system. He submitted that the quota system constitutes an injustice to admission seekers. The quota system to me has at least its usefulness. By the time it was made, it was designed to address some peculiar problems. But, but the Nigeria of today is quite different from when the quota system was made. So we, we, we need to, we need to uh, address the current situation in the country. And the current to me, uh, we should go by merit. Uh, let everybody compete. Uh, let's go for the merit. Let's, let's choose the best. Also, each school should be allowed uh, to design its own admission policy. Nigeria is not the only country in the world where you have this unified examination body. Right? It does not promote competition, and that's why you don't have foreign students coming to Nigeria. Right? So this school should be allowed, as it's been done all over the world, this school should be allowed uh, to design its own admission policy and set its own examination so that we have so many foreign, nas foreign nationals coming to Nigeria. Nigeria should be the hub of uh, education for West African students, uh, for West African people. Uh, a lot of people should be coming to Nigeria because Nigeria is an English-speaking uh, country, and the world is turning towards English language. So Nigeria should be the hub. But JAM will not allow that kind of thing to happen. So if schools were allowed to define, to, to, to design their own admission policy, then we are going to have more foreigners coming to Nigeria. I'm very, very sure of that. A total of 2,441 have been shortlisted to benefit from the scholarship awarded for the year 2023. From Abel Kuta, the State Capital, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television News.